folks, and good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. We're lucky enough to be looking at a high performance Spectre. 22 foot center console. Great design for offshore fishing and cruising, and also inshore too. It's a 96 hull with a 2012 Evinrude e -Tech. It was purchased in 2013 and installed. 200 horsepower is the high output edition. Extended swim platform over the transom black bracket. Trim tabs stored on the trailer. Dual axle, all aluminum. A couple of scratches on the outside, but no major damage to note on the gel coat. Keel looks good. Let's go ahead and take that console cover off and hop on board. Alrighty. Love the view on these nice wide gunnels. Hand holds right where you need them all along the T-top. You also got rod storage on both sides for a total of four rods. Pop-up cleats. Keep lines nice and clean. Toes stub free and line snag free. Tons of forward deck space. Under this forward seat spot, there's a dry box, easy access to underneath the helm. You got a total of four new speakers on deck. Keep your favorite tunes bumping. Nice leaning post with removable backrest. And there's a footrest underneath. With the backrest out, you got an extra five rod holders. Another two back here at the transom. One on each side. Fuel filter access, battery switch. Both batteries on this side. Nice, wide, and deep lighted transom live well. Clear top. Keep an eye on everything inside. And then you got your oil tank and hydraulic pump for power pole. Really nice shallow water feature. Push of a button, it's down. Push of a button, it's up. Love how the helm's laid out. Nice tinted windshield. Lowrance's HDS7. Structure scan, GPS, fish finder, all around great unit, nice bright screen, really user friendly as well. Smooth power steering, nice clear gauges, speed and tack. With this you get all your vitals on the motor, uh, fuel burn rate, temperature, oil pressure, etc. United's Solara VHF, it's got DSC, that's also linked into the Lowrance, and I forgot to mention the gauge info also comes across on the Lowrance as well. And then a dual MXD 13, oh, 136BT, digital media receiver, Bluetooth ready, nice color screen, you got USB input and auxiliary input as well, great all around entertainment setup and a lockable glove box and then also hidden over here to the left dry storage up top and there is a, a full solid face cover on here and then you got an LED light underneath that glove box do one more slow pan all the way around there is storage under these sun pads you got a battery on each side to keep weight centered and the onboard charger as well for plugging in and then two cup holders and two rod holders. Family friendly, really fast.